Welcome to this PSN30 tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at the eraser tool, but the eraser tool in and of itself is kind of boring, so we're going to do eraser tool versus masking in as quickly as we can. So let's quickly do a rundown of the eraser tool. Located right here, hotkey is the letter A. You click, boom, you punch a hole, you erase whatever it is you're painting over. I'm going to undo that stuff by hitting Command or Control Z. Get rid of all of that. My favorite feature of the of the erase tool itself is not the brush or the pencil feature, but the block feature. You can see it just drops everything out. It's just a simple, square, hard-edged eraser. I find it to be the most useful. Other than this feature in the eraser tool, I mask everything. So check this out. You see we have a slightly blurry edge on our uh, rectangle here. If I click with the eraser tool, I hold down shift and click again, let's say over here. Boom. Got a nice straight line cut right across, and it's sharp as sharp can be. As you can see, boom, just like that, we slice a nice line right across there. So we can erase and have nice control over our eraser, um, you know, using this little block feature. That's basically all I would use the eraser tool for. Um, and the reason is, when I use the eraser tool, if I go back to the brush mode, right click, let's say I reduce the hardness down to zero, and I'll leave it as a big 500 pixel uh, brush, and I start erasing this rectangle, I save the document, I come back two weeks later, that stuff is gone. I'm going to get rid of this entire layer, though, because I'm going to give you a more realistic example. We've colored this car. We've made it this really light, unrealistic blue. Let's say I decide, you know what? I don't want the license plate to be that purplish, bluish color. But then I come back, I don't know, a week, a month, a year later and realize, ooh, you know what? I really need that color back. Or if I'm just zooming in on it here and I just take a look at this and I want to just, whoops, and I want to just maybe make it fade all right, and then make the other side fade a little bit. But then I say, you know what? Ugh, I really need to bring that back. Well, I just have to undo it. See, with a mask, I can throw a mask on this layer like that. I can grab my regular brush tool, and I can just paint uh, with... I got black as my foreground color. Black is going to hide. White reveals. I can just hide that, right? Hide that little bit. You can see my ma in my mask, if I alter option, click the mask, I can see I painted black in those two little areas. Um, and then I come back later and realize, you know what? I need it all to be purple again. Hit the letter X, make white my foreground color. Use my left bracket key to make my brush a little smaller. And I can paint all of that purple right back in. So, yes, the eraser tool, it's easy to use. You just go, you grab it, and you start wiping stuff out. But if you create a mask and you paint on that mask with black, you can erase stuff, but it's still there for you to bring back. Let's say I draw a big swath across the hood of the car, right? I get rid of a bunch of this blue, and then I realize, oh, crap. I need to bring that back. Well, switch my foreground color to white, and boom, I just paint it all right back in, just like that. So eraser tool versus mask. Well, mask is much more non-destructive, as you can see, because even when I get rid of stuff, I can always bring it back. So I love masking way more than using the erase tool, but the erase tool is still a tool in Photoshop. Like I said, I like to use the block setting on the erase tool. You can use brush, and just, you know, boom, I erase. Well, whoops, I'm painting in the mask. I'm gonna be painting on the layer with the erase tool and I can just erase. It's not painting anything in the mask. It's just going ahead and getting rid of the blue actually on the pixel layer. I prefer to use a mask. So in the battle, mask versus eraser tool, I say masking wins hands down. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like the eraser tool? Do you use it much? Or do you too prefer masking? For the eraser tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.